Welcome back. Our very own Pete Mangione was out in the woods this week, becoming one with nature. Also learning how wildlife biologists are keeping track of rabbits in the state. We'll head over to Pete now for a look at what he found there. Hi, Pete. Hey, Brian. It was interesting to see the entire process of the rabbit release, including how they track the rabbits through GPS. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. This rabbit was obviously in a hurry to start his new life in the wild. Although if you take another look, he's not sure which way to go first. That way, there you go. Brian Teft is a wildlife biologist for the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management. To track the health and the whereabouts of this little guy, he and his team weigh him, take some tissue samples, and attach a GPS tracking collar. Keeping him in a bag actually calms him down. The rabbit's ancestors were originally trapped in Connecticut. They were brought to Roger Williams Park Zoo where they were bred in captivity. Uh, the offspring of those wild rabbits were then transported to an island in Narragansett Bay. The island is Patience Island, the tiny island that sits next to Prudence Island. From the nursery colony created there, the offspring are then released here at Great Swamp in South Kingstown. The rabbit is probably third or fourth generation. He is one of many that will be let go in this area. They've been exposed to wild elements and they're now ready for you know, the transition to habitats on the mainland. Not to be confused with the more commonly seen eastern cottontail, the New England cottontail rabbits are few and far between. It was once considered a candidate species for listing as a federally endangered species. Started in 2012, the hope is that this repopulation effort will make the New England cottontail not so rare anymore. And to see if the project is ultimately a success, they will be monitoring the rabbit population for many years to come.